In this video, I will show you how to use a texture progress bar node to create a circular progress bar that looks like this. Ready to follow along? You'll find all the starter files and textures you need in the description below this video. Let's dive right in. We'll start by creating a new user interface scene. Name it Health Bar, and save it in your UI folder. Add the texture progress bar node to the scene. This node enables us to create a progress bar using the image textures. Set the Fill Mode to Clockwise. This will make the progress bar fill up radially rather than from left to right. In the Range section, set the value to 33% so we could preview the final result in the editor. In the Texture section, you can assign textures. The under texture forms the background of our progress bar. The progress texture serves as the progress indicator. And the over texture can be used to create a frame over the progress bar. Let's assign our textures. We have two textures, the progress bar circle and the progress bar frame. We will use the progress bar circle texture for both the background and the progress bar. Take a look at the tint section. Here you can modify the color of the texture. Let's turn our background texture to a semi-transparent black and make our progress texture green. Now, for the finishing touch, let's assign the progress bar frame as our over texture. To make it easy to position our health bar in other scenes, let's move the texture progress bar node to center it at the start of the coordinate plane. Next up, we're going to assign a script to our health bar node. We will use the set value function to update the progress. Inside the ready function, we will hide the health bar when the game starts. In the set value function, we will make the health bar appear once the health drops below 100%. Now let's add the health bar to a crate so that the players can see how much health it has left. Add the health bar node to the scene and place it above the crate. Now all you need to update the progress bar is to use the set value function we have created. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Godot tutorials like this one.